in learning objective two of session five, we want to look at present value. Present value equals future value divided by one plus r to the t. Uh, how much money do I need to invest today uh, to get to some future value? Present value means today. That's a simple way of thinking of present value. So five letter word, present value means T-O-D-A-Y. Let's look at present value. Uh, the formula doesn't change. Again, we're looking in this case to solve for the present value variable, PV, and that means today. How much do I, just uh, as in the last example, how much do I need to invest today to get that million dollars in the future? Uh, present value by just uh, moving some of the variables around, we solve for PV, PV equals FV divided by one plus R to the T. Uh, present value means today. So that's one thing we want to emphasize. Um, and again, a lot of very, very practical uses of this equation. Uh, how much do I need to invest today if I need $400 to buy books next semester and I can earn 7% over the course uh, of a year and, and make that next year? So I, need, I know I need uh, $400 next year. How much do I need to invest today if I can earn 7% on my money over the course of the year? Uh, PV equals FV. Uh, divided by 1 plus r to the t, 400 divided by 1.07, and I get an answer of $373.83. I need to put that amount of money into the bank today at 7% to get my $400 by the end of uh, next year. You'd like to buy a new car. Here's another good example of, of the use of this uh, lump sum present value equation. You want to buy a new automobile. Uh, you have $50,000 saved up. The car costs $68,500. You can earn 9% on your money. How much do you have to invest today? Again, keyword being today to buy the car in two years. Do you have enough money saved up? Um, soon price will stay the same. Will not jump in two years. Uh, present value equals future value over 1 plus R to the T, and the rate in this case is 10%, so 685, uh, I'm sorry, 9%. 685 divided by 1.09 square uh, gives me 57,655. So what that says is I need 57,655 in the bank to get out to 68,5 in two years. So I do not have enough money. I'm $7,655 short, and I have a few options at this point. Uh, I can borrow some money certainly. Uh, maybe not buy that Mercedes-Benz or uh, BMW that I have my eye on. Uh, wait. I could certainly wait till the third year. Or maybe buy five Kias with that money that I have saved up. That's, those are lots of good options uh, for you. Or buy a used car instead of a new car to get your cost down. Um, you see some deceptive advertising, you can, you can use these equations to help you sort through that. Uh, come in, try our product, we'll give you $100. Maybe test drive a car, we'll give you $100. And uh, back in, in the fine print, you see some rules and regulations. Um, uh, you'll, you'll get a savings certificate that will pay you $100 in 25 years, so you're not getting the, 20, the $100 today. And that's the key. If the interest rate is 10%, how much are they really going to give you? Let's figure it out. The present value of this $100 certificate is uh, 100 divided by 1.1 to the 25th, or $9.23. So what you're really getting, instead of a $100 certificate, you're getting $9.23 today, present value. Another example, uh, your company is going to buy an asset for $335, very safe investment. Uh, you'll sell the asset in three years for $400. Um, you could invest the $335 elsewhere at 10% should you take on this proposed investment. Again, same equation. Uh, you can do it a present value way or a future value way. Let's use method one and do it the future value way first. What is the future value of this $335 invested at 10%? 335 times 1.1 um, to the third power, we get $445. So we would not um, take on the other investment, which would only pay us um, $400, right? I can take the money and invest it elsewhere at 10% and get more money. Uh, another way to look at it, I can use the present value equation. Present value equals future value over 1 plus R to the T. Uh, take the 400 divided by 1.1 uh, to the third, and I get a present value of investing only $300.53 today. Uh, 300, yeah, $300 rather than the $335 to get to the $400 investment. So again, it's not a good investment. Again, you can use this present value, future value, lump sum equation to help you sort through some of these uh, investments in life. <clears throat> Here's a very simple example. Uh, you can put up $1,250 today. You get back $1,350. 
Uh, what is the rate this investment is paying? Uh, present value equals future value over 1 plus r to the t. This time I'm solving for r. So 1250 equals 1350 over 1 plus r to the first power. So this becomes very simple when, um, when uh, time is equal to one year. I just divide the two numbers, 1350 divided by um, 1250 and subtract 1, and I get a rate of 8%. So when t equals 1, this thing reduces to just simple division. Present value is factors reciprocal of the future value factor. I really don't even calculate this very much. I just basically uh, plug the three variables into the equation and solve the math. So I really don't go about formally calculating the present value factor and future value factor, just so you know that one is the inverse or reciprocal of the other.